Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and happy Thursday. If you are new here, my name is Jamie. I make videos on beauty, fashion, lifestyle, all kinds of stuff. So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back to my channel. I am sorry I haven't posted in a few weeks. Life has been a little bit crazy and I went on a family vacation. So I've just been really busy. So that's where I've been these past two weeks. That's why there hasn't been a video up, um, but I am back in business. I'm gonna be posting every week, every Thursday. Today's hairstyle is a summer beach waves, but more in particular, I wanted to share with you guys how I style my short hair. I haven't done a video on any hair tutorials or anything since I did cut my hair. I cut it, I think it was last January. So it's been kind of a while. So figured it was overdue that I shared this with you guys because I know it can be kind of hard styling your hair when it's short. I think this is really great for summer, really great for every day, really easy, really fast. When I first cut my hair, my hair was a lot shorter. So my hair has definitely grown out a little bit. To some of you, this is like shoulder length. That's not even really considered short. But the technique that I'm using has been the same since I cut my hair when I first cut it when it was even shorter than this. So you can use these same tips and these same tricks on your shorter hair and it's gonna work. One thing before we start, I just have to tell you guys to subscribe and follow me on all my social channels. Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. I'm always on Instagram, always on Snapchat, I'm always posting. So join the family and follow along with my everyday life because you guys get updates on there about what videos are going up. I ask you guys questions on what videos I should be doing. So if you guys wanna be involved, go ahead and follow me and of course subscribe so you don't miss a video. So yeah, if you guys wanna see these easy beach waves, please keep on watching. Okay, so this is my hair air dried. I never blow dry my hair. I just think it takes too much time and my hair is naturally straight. So I just don't see the point to blow dry my hair and putting extra heat on it when I don't really need to. But obviously some of you have curly hair or wavy hair or just whatever and you have to blow dry your hair. Whatever you need to do to get to this point of dry hair, do it. I am just sharing with you guys that I do not ever blow dry my hair. To curl my hair today, I'm gonna be using the Numi Titan 3 curling wand and it's basically, well, it's like really hot. I have it heating up right now. Um, it is just basically a titanium curling wand. It's actually kind of funny because my first YouTube video was a curl tutorial on my curls. It's when I had longer hair and I don't really do my hair like that anymore, especially with having short hair. I like my hair a little bit more easygoing and just kind of wavy and just really easy. This wand comes with three different barrels. I'm using the largest one today because I feel like that is what gives me those nice beachy, wavy, easy curls. This is a 32 millimeter, so if you guys have a curling wand or just a curling iron, I recommend using your largest size for this look because it is what gives you a really beachy, wavy look. Okay, so first step, I'm gonna be sectioning off my hair. I'm just gonna go halfway through my hair and kind of section it off and curl that layer. And then once I'm done with that, bring the other half down and curl the rest of it. It's just really easy with having short hair. Obviously, I don't have a ton of layers that I need to curl because I don't have that much hair because it's so short. So I am gonna go ahead and section it off, off, like right about here. I'm not super precise with it. I don't use like a comb to section it off or anything. It's really easy. Just do it to the best of your ability. It doesn't really, it's not really that serious. Just section it off and put it up like that. And then you see I have this bottom layer that I'm gonna curl because if I do my hair all at once without sectioning it off, I will often kind of forget about this bottom layer just because it's kind of hard to reach when I have the shorter hair. And it's a little bit harder to see. So I like to section it off so I make sure that I get every piece. I think I'm actually gonna zoom you guys in real quick. So hold up. So I just grab about this much hair. It's enough to kind of wrap around the curl. And then I go down this way and wrap the hair around the wand. And the technique that I'm using for my hair today is that I am not curling the whole piece. I always leave about this much out off the wand so it doesn't get completely curled. And it gives it a really nice kind of laid back look and it doesn't look super curled. I mean, it's gonna be kind of hard to tell with these little pieces, but um, I think you guys get what I'm saying. Once you have your hair all done and it just kind of the bottom has that nice PC textured look and not completely curled in, it doesn't look like as precise. It looks more like beachy hair, a little bit more natural if you guys get what I'm saying. So that's the way that I like to do my hair and especially with having short hair, I find it looks so much better than curling all the way to the end. This is a technique you could use even if you have longer hair because it looks good no matter what. Just, it works really well with short hair too. So see, I leave that little piece out. I'm actually losing some pieces. That's what happens when you have short hair. You have so many layers that are just so short they can barely wrap around the wand, but that's okay. You're not really gonna be able to see all of these pieces once your hair is done. 
You can see these few pieces in the front just have a nice little wave. Like I said, I just want them to have a nice bend and a little nice wave. So this is pretty much good enough for the bottom layer. Obviously, I have a few pieces in the back that I still need to do, but I just wanted to show you guys halfway through. This is what it should look like. Um, so now this bottom layer is done. We're going to go ahead and just release the rest of the hair from the clip and just kind of run your fingers through it. Make sure it's not tangled anywhere. Still grabbing the same kind of size pieces as I did on the bottom, except for this, they're just a little bit longer because the bottom layer is really short, obviously. So these are gonna be a little bit easier to curl. Same kind of thing, I bring the curling iron down, wrap it around, and leave this last little piece out so it doesn't get curled and it has some nice texture. And then I just leave it on for a few seconds. And then I just kind of release it and let it fall on its own and then kind of make sure it's curled like that. And you see this one has a nice curl. Um, I have been saying I just wanted to have a nice wave, but once I brush out my hair and have this tight curl, it just gives more of a beach wave. So the whole key to this look is leaving this last little piece out and not curling it because I feel like that's what gives the whole style to this style of curl and it's just really my little trick when it comes to putting some waves in my hair. You guys can part your hair however you want for this look. I think it personally goes best with a side part. I don't really wear middle parts anymore. I just feel like they make my forehead look massive. I don't know what it is. I just don't like the way they look on me anymore. Um, but the reason I like the side part is because I like to have more hair on one side so I can flip it over and just kind of flip back and forth and it just looks really voluminous and just really pretty. I just think it works best with the side part. So do whatever you want, but I to do the side part and with the side part, I obviously have this one piece on the side kind of like my long bangs that I kind of curl just all as one piece. Um, so you see this like bigger piece right here. I will just curl this all together. So I don't really start at the root like I have been doing with most of my hair just because this is kind of like a bang piece. So I kind of start a little bit ways down and then do the same technique where I leave a little bit of the piece of the hair out. And then I have this curl that like I said, we will brush through. And it obviously looks kind of funny right now, like it's kind of out of place. I will just kind of go like this and just blend it in with the rest of my hair. So curling is done. I'm gonna move on to applying some product before we brush out the waves and kind of style them with our hands. So. I don't use hairspray. I know a lot of you are probably gonna be shocked. I, know, I just feel like it wasn't necessary. It wasn't really doing anything. My hair actually does a really good job at holding curls and I feel like it just looks more natural if I don't put hairspray. I feel like I just like the way they look really bouncy and really wavy. Um, so I don't really use hairspray. Um, actually, number one reason is because I have very sensitive skin and I will kind of break out on my back and on my chest and wherever else the hairspray gets. So I don't like to use hairspray for that reason too. The only thing I've been using lately is a texturizing spray and this I have totally seen a difference in. I feel like if you have short hair, you absolutely need this. This is the Label M Texturizing Volume Spray. So absolutely love this stuff. It's really great for short hair, like I said. For those ends, all those pieces, you wanna give them some extra texture and just give your hair some more volume and just look more put together and just real cool girl. I really like the way this looks. So really would recommend this. This is gonna be the only thing that I'm using. I kinda use it like a hairspray, but it doesn't go on super heavy or anything. It just gives your hair some nice texture and volume. So I just kinda go ahead and just kinda lift up my hair and apply it in spots. I really focus it on the ends because I want these like pieces that we didn't curl, you see on the end that we left out. I want them to have a lot of texture and just look really pretty. So um, just kind of like give my hair some volume a little bit and some texture. So do the same. 
this. Especially if we're going for these beachy waves. I just really want to focus on having volume and texture. And this stuff smells amazing. My sister is a hairstylist and she actually got this for me. So this is a product that she uses on her clients. You have to brush them out very lightly. I'm not talking about like full on normally brushing out your hair. It's a very light, just kind of pat and like kind of focus on the top and the edges. You don't want to fully brush out that curl. I will do that a little bit further with my fingers and just run my fingers through it. But um, with this, you kind of just want to kind of maintain all the frizz and just kind of make your hair look a little more wavy. So. Just use a really light hand. What I do is just kind of first brush out the top. I don't bring the brush all the way down. And I have a really light hand, like I said. And just do this. You can see that helped with the top a lot. It made it look a little bit more maintained and not so frizzy and messy from just curling my hair and using the spray. Um, so I'll do that on the top and then also just kind of really lightly just brush through the bottoms. So I just kind of mess around with it and mess with my hands a little bit just kind of shape my hair to how I want it to be and just kind of give it some volume. So I will just kind of run my fingers through it just a few times. Just kind of mess with it. Just kind of like brush your fingers through it. So you can see that already it made it look a little bit more voluminous and just more wavy and not so precisely curled. So I really like that. And I like to put my hair behind my ear with this side part too. I like the way it looks having a ton of hair on this side and then putting my hair behind my ear. And you can see those little pieces that we didn't curl all come together really nicely and it just kind of give your hair some really pretty texture. And this is a finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you were able to learn something from it. It took me a while to kind of get used to having shorter hair. So I want to share with you guys how I always style my hair. So if you are someone that's kind of wondering if you should take the plunge to cut your hair, I think you guys should. Summertime is the perfect time to cut your hair super easy and lightweight and it's just not as hot as having a ton of hair so if you guys try this hairstyle please tag me or send me a snapchat a message on instagram tag me in your instagram post whatever i really love seeing your guys's posts and love seeing your messages or just let me know in the comments if you tried this look or if you're gonna try it, i would love to hear and also in the comments let me know what videos you guys want to see for the summertime i have a ton of ideas and a ton of videos planned out but most importantly, I want to know what you guys want to see. So please let me know. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And also follow me on Instagram, like I said. So I will see you guys next time. Bye.